Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Oh, this? Just the Lionfish Cookbook, but we'll get back to that in a minute. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Kosh, and I'm the station director here at 4FAR. I wanted to talk a little bit about my favorite topic, which is lionfish, and why there's such a problem, especially here in the Bahamas. But first, let me give you a little background information about them. There are four different species of lionfish. But the two that we are focusing on are the common lionfish and the red lionfish. Lionfish are native species to the Indo-Pacific region and off the coast of Australia and even the Red Sea. Their favorite types of habitats are coral reefs with plenty of crevices and ledges that they can hide under. They can also live in a variety of depths from shallow water all the way down to 50 meters. So what's the problem? It's just a fish from the other side of the world here. But that's exactly it. It's an invasive species. An invasive species is a living organism that was introduced into a non-native ecosystem and is causing harm to that ecosystem. So our little friend, the lionfish, is causing major shifts in our ocean's ecosystems, especially in reef habitats. So how did a fish from across the world get here? Well, there are a few theories which include ballast water, hurricanes, or pet owners releasing them into the wild. What we do know for sure was that it all began in the 1980s, and now we have this large population of lionfish from South America all the way up to Rhode Island. How did all of this happen? Well, female lionfish can lay up to 30,000 eggs every four days. Now that's a lot of lionfish eggs. So you must be thinking, okay, big deal, that's a lot of lionfish eggs. They must have some sort of predator to help take care of that problem. Well, actually, they don't have any natural predators here. In their natural habitats, they have predators like sharks, groupers, and large eels. Since the same predators here are unaccustomed to lionfish, they don't instinctively attack them. Along with the venomous spines and bright coloring on them, I don't think I would pick them as an afternoon snack either. Lionfish are ambush predators. They have these suction-like mouths that allow them to open their mouths wide and swallow their prey whole. Lionfish typically enjoy a variety of species from shrimp, hogfish, parrotfish, and snappers. Some dissections have shown 20 different species in a lionfish's stomach. It's amazing because they can eat something that's twice their size and expand their stomach up to 30 times its natural size. It's crazy. Lionfish are also very tactical hunters. They use their pectoral fins to push their prey into dead ends and corals and leave no escape for them. Now that we know all this information about lionfish, what do we do? Do we think they're cool? Are they terrible? And how do we help? Well, I think lionfish are really cool in their natural habitat on the other side of the world. But as an invasive species here, specifically in the Bahamas, not so much. Many organizations are attempting to relieve some stress from lionfish by conducting lionfish derbies. These lionfish catching parties allow for people in the community to help out. And it also helps researchers collect data on size, gut contents, and location of lionfish. Another bonus out of these derbies is fresh fish. Remember that cookbook I was reading? That is a cookbook created by REEF, also known as REEF Environmental Education Foundation. They have huge derbies throughout the year to catch as many lionfish in the Key Largo area. These fish are then used in cooking competitions right at the these derbies. Now I've never had lionfish ceviche, but I sure would like to try. REEF is partnering with the Cape Eleuther Institute to create a program that focuses on outreach, education, and research right here in the Bahamas. Another cool program that's been created is by Patty. They've created the Invasive Tracker course, which helps you learn how to ID, track, and capture lionfish safely. Here at Forefire, we like to do our part also. If you've been here, then you may know about our lionfish dissection. I think it's one of the best labs we have here. We do our part in catching lionfish at locations we typically snorkel, and occasionally at the surprise snorkel sites. We always practice safety and make sure we handle the lionfish with care 
to protect ourselves and our students. On our next live webinar, we'll be doing a lionfish dissection, so be sure to tune into that. We may even try to cook up some fillets right after. Thanks for watching and learning about lionfish with me. Make sure to keep an eye out next time you come snorkeling with us. You may see a lionfish. And from all of us here at International Field Studies, thank you.